Hey y'all, uh, welcome back. This is a bit of a different video than I'm used to doing. I'm actually standing because I'm gonna be showing some uh, of my clothes today. I'm gonna be talking a lot about, you know, finding your style and also just in general, maintaining a color palette that helps you transition from season to season. So primarily I'll be talking of course about fall since we're in the fall season right now and the types of clothes I like to wear during then. Um, you might see some pieces that I'm wearing right now in the video as well. And yeah, I'm just really excited. It's kind of like a lookbook slash style discussion. I have no idea what I'm gonna title this just yet, but you know, that's kind of where we're framing things out today. And I'm gonna be looking down on my phone because I have snapshots of the <laughs> outfits because I can't remember them off head, just so I can talk about where I got them and about like the inspiration behind my style in general. So yeah, let's get started. So this look is definitely very much inspired by um, earth tones, or these looks rather, are very earth tone oriented. Consistently across these um, outfits, you'll see that I wear a lot of green. Green is one of my favorite colors. A lot of browns, um, some purple in there, but like deep burgundy purples. Um, in addition to like very bright, well not bright, but more like muted yellows as well. So by having a consistent color palette, it's really easy to mix and max, mix and match clothing. Of course, black as well. I love wearing black. Um, it's really easy to make sure all of your clothes are cohesive and all of your outfits are reusable because we're all about reusing our clothes here. We're all about finding new ways to use the clothes that we buy so that we don't over purchase or you know, over consume clothing. Yeah, so this first outfit, this blazer that I'm wearing over here, <laughs> Uh, the blazer that I'm wearing is actually thrifted. I went thrifting with one of my friends and she found it for me. She was like, this is you. And I was like, you're absolutely right. So it was a great find. Don't remember how much it cost, but it was really reasonable. So the top is thrifted. The bodysuit is actually from Nappy Head Club. Um, I love that brand. Um, they are black women, two sisters, who really wanted to cater to kinky curly hair, kind of focusing on, you know, the fact that nappy is typically used to describe uh, coarse hair as bad, inherently bad, but she, they're reclaiming the term. And the skirt, I believe, is from American Apparel. It's like a corduroy green skirt. Um, and the tights, I don't know where I got them from, but now that I think about it, I wish I actually wore like nude, like brown tights, like sheer nude tights. I think there's just a little bit too much going on with the colors. So I think that's the only thing I would change with this outfit. And the shoes also, I wish I did a different shoe. Um, I got these from Target, but I try to stick in the same color family so that of course I don't have to buy a ton of shoes. I have like maybe 30 pairs of boots. Um, you'll see probably all of them in this video. So. Yeah, that's that outfit. Let's go to the next one. So this one, the infamous blazer. So apparently I dress like dark academia. I was uh, informed of this when I went viral in a th Twitter thread. I'll post it here as well. And yeah, apparently my style is like dark academia, which I don't really think it is, but it worked for the the style they were referencing. So this blazer is very infamous for that, or not infamous, but like just very known for that. Um, people loved it in one of my self-portrait series. Um, so I love this blazer, I've had it for years. It's from H&M. I don't really shop at H&M anymore, but I bought it way like years, like college, like has to be at least like six years at this point. And I really love it because it is technically like, has a yellow undertone, but it's still brown and neutral. So it works with a lot of my outfits. And the top I'm wearing is very new. Actually, I got it yesterday. It's from this um, secondhand store called Rumors that's based in North Carolina and Virginia. And I'm actually wearing it today as well. And it's like a corset top. You like clip it in the front and it's velvet and it's like a chocolatey brown. And it's like so cute. I love it. It's so cute. And the skirt is also from Target. And I love the texture. So I think you've noticed that I like mixing textures together. And that's what really breaks up my outfits so that even if I am reusing a lot of the same pieces, the texture and mixing the textures really like makes it look more unique. Shoes are also Target, a nice nude brown boot. 
So this outfit, the top is actually from a Depop, one of my friends. I'll link her in the bio or link her in the description. Again, I'm obsessed with green. And I was like, this is the perfect like top or jacket. Eh, is it a jacket? It's like, it's not heavy enough to be a jacket, but um, I love layering this. And I actually layered it with my Riona top. It's like a brown short sleeve top. And this brand is actually black owned, based in Canada. I believe they're Nigerian too. And their clothing is so great in terms of quality. It's super heavy duty and it's really skin tight, which I like. I like wearing clothing. That makes it easier to layer in my opinion. Skirt is also from Rumors and I kind of wish I had a more heavy duty skirt. This skirt is good for like, for me spring and summer. I just threw this in to kind of help with the color. But in theory, I would have the same colored skirt, but like in a heavier fabric or a corduroy fabric to help balance out some of the other thicker fabrics that I'm incorporating here. And once again, I have the same Target boot. Now this next outfit is a little extra and <laughs> mainly because of this jacket. I got this jacket again from Rumors. This one is definitely vintage. It doesn't have a tag, so there's no brand on it. So I believe it's a vintage um, jacket. And um, it's also crushed velvet and it's green, but it's like a deep forest green, which I really like. I paired it with this sheer top that I'm currently wearing right now and this vintage slip dress that I got from an Etsy shop that I will be linking. I just feel like all these colors, like this is why I love the fall. I love that you can go dark with your color scheme or color palette. It's just easier for me to pair things together when they're, it's a little more darker versus like being very colorful. Not the most colorful person, but I'm trying. So this outfit I would wear totally either like going out with friends. I would wear this to like dinner parties. I'd wear this to like holiday parties. So this is a great outfit for those um, nights where I want to like dress up a little bit. And I paired it with velvet boots. These are a little too big for me. So I'm actually looking for a new pair to replace them. And I'll probably either sell these or donate them. And this last outfit, which is my favorite. Um, again, this top I got yesterday from Rumors as well. Um, it's crushed velvet, it's black. It has this beautiful neckline. I, as someone who has like a bigger chest, love like square necklines. I like my like collarbone a lot <laughs> and I just want to find ways to show it off. So I think this is a very flattering neckline for me specifically. And I paired it with these Target pants that I got a while ago. And I'm sorry that they're not ironed. I don't, I need to start ironing. I like ironing my clothes. But the, it's like that deep purple that I was talking about, almost like going into the chocolate territory. And these are like pants that I wear all the time. I usually wear them when I'm doing work things as well. I mean, I paired it with that same brown, like tan boot that you can't really see. So yeah, that is the outfits. Those are the outfits that I wanted to use as examples of how I maintain consistency in my color palette in order to one, like kind of establish a style, but also to help make sure that I can reuse the same, um, items in different outfits. Um, jewelry, of course, is always important. These um, earrings and this necklace is from Oma the Label. They're actually having a sale right now if you're interested. Um, I'm pretty consistent with my jewelry though. Like I don't really stray too far off on like the energy and the vibe. I love a gold hoop. I love dainty jewelry to kind of just match. Let me see if y'all can see this outfit for today to kind of match the vibe that I'm going for. I don't know how to describe my look at all, but I would say it's definitely, I don't know, just a lot of textures, um, dark colors, um, green. <laughs> don't know if there's a good way to describe it, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to kind of think about your own wardrobe and how you like to bring color into your wardrobe and how consistent you are with it. Um, you don't always have to, of course, stick with certain colors, but it makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, to build a closet that way. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more fashion videos, and I'll be back next time. See you later.